I got this clear gearbox for making a rower whirly gig. I wanted to show it to you. It's kind of nice. Now you can see the gears working. Let's see. It's a little bit distorted at the top. I took this pattern that I made a long time ago of the gearbox. What I did was I made this mold. I got something like this out of there. Well, actually, it didn't look this good. I took the casting out of here, and I spent uh, two days polishing it, and I, I got this one here. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It took me about two days. I got it really nice and shiny, and, and you can see through it real nice. And then I made another mold. Made this mold. So coming out of, out of this mold, you get something like this. You can still see through it, but it's a, it's a bit frosty. And then it takes you like a day or two to to polish it. You start off with, I don't know, 400 and work your way up to at least 2,500 or 3,000. And then you get something like this. And even this is not anywhere perfect. There's a lot of little flaws in there. I'm, I put the resin under vacuum and got all the bubbles out, or I tried to, and uh, for about 10 minutes or something and that seemed to get all the big bubbles out and then I just let it cure normally you can see the difference between the polished and unpolished the silicone rubber I used this time is a platinum cured which is a lot more durable they say it's a lot uh, more finicky there's a lot of things that can uh, make it not cure properly, like uh, hot glue is one. And there's, there's a whole list of stuff. But you got to be a little bit careful that way. So here's the stuff I used. It's platinum cured silicone rubber from Let's Resin. I bought this on Etsy. That's part A, and then you got part B. And then I used this resin. I also got off Etsy. It's from, uh, what does it say, Desert Rain Epoxy Products. So you can see that on Etsy. And you can pour this up to a half inch. Okay, I thought I'd show that to you. Thanks for stopping by. I sure appreciate it. Take care. I'll see you down the trail. Bye now. <laughs>